Want to go on a drive? It is time to learn about the cabinet of the United States of America. Right now! Today's episode is... Hi everyone, welcome to our new episode of the Cabinet Series. This is the last week we're going to be doing this. Yeah, I know, we're already done already. Well, not yet, because we still have today, tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But, you know. And thank you so much, Facebook, for giving me notifications in the middle of my recording sessions. <sighs> Whatever. Anyways, let's do a quick recap. When we first started, during the week of the 13th, we did <clears throat> the State Department, the Treasury Department, Defense, Justice, and Interior. Last week, let me get all situated here, we did Agriculture, Commerce, Labor, Health and Human Services, and Housing and Urban Development. This week, we're doing the last five. Transportation energy, education, veterans affairs, and homeland security. So, first off, we're going to start out with transportation today. So let's learn a little bit of the history of it. So, the Department of Transportation was established on April 1st of 1967. Yeah. It's kind of pretty recent because, uh, you know... If you gotta drive, you know, you gotta have, gotta have your car. Uh, my actual car keys are downstairs. and uh, That's so much work going down there and grabbing them. <laughs> so I just found a random set of keys that I found in my room the other day. Woo! The first holder <clears throat> of the department was Alan Boyd from 1967 to 1969. And was a Democrat. The current holder is Elaine Chow. She's been in office since 2017 and is a Republican. So when it comes to the actual location of the building, I got the actual address down, but according to my research, I wasn't able to find out exactly like what the name of the building actually is. So I'm just going to assume it's the transportation building. Anyways, it is located at 1200 New Jersey Avenue, Southeast, Washington, D.C. So the department has 58,622 employees. And their income <clears throat> is $72,400,000,000 as of fiscal year of 2015. So, what the department does. Basically, maintain and develop the nation's transportation systems and infrastructure. Basically, roads, highways, interstates, freeways, county roads. Take me home to the place where I belong, West Virginia. Finally, the rank of the line of succession. Rather than me just telling you, I'm just going to go ahead and show you. We're cutting the president out. Here you go. So yeah, basically the uh, Secretary of Transportation is number 14. However, our current Secretary of the Treasury is not born here in America. She was born in Taiwan or the Republic of China for those Chinese watching. Therefore... She cannot actually become president. So in the line of succession, she's actually the only member of the president's cabinet that can't become president. All right, thank you all so much for watching. <clears throat> wow, my throat does not want to cooperate with me today. Uh, if there's any information that, that you want to know more about with the, uh, the department that I might have left out, like what the name of the building actually is because I couldn't find it in my research, uh, I would recommend going to their website as I will put up on the screen and in the description below www.transportation.gov and hopefully you can find more information about it there 
All right, so thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you all tomorrow when we talk about the... Uh, what are we going to talk about? Oh, yeah, Department of Energy. Stay cool, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, please click the circle on your right. Click the, squ the square on the left to watch the last series on this channel, which is Flags of the United States. I think you'll like it. Thank you all so much and have a fantastic day.